Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is your girl Anne Cruz, and you're tuned into my YouTube channel. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing the Google Does or Fix My Makeup Challenge. So this was first done by Nikki Tutorials. Correct me if I'm wrong, but she was the first one that I saw on YouTube that did this challenge. I'm gonna leave her link down below, but she did an amazing job as usual. So I wanted to try this for myself. Basically how this challenge works is that you go onto Google and you type in the first letter of your first name and the first letter of your last name. And then after you have the two letters, you just type in the word look after it. So it's gonna be in my case, I have to search AC look on Google. So the first thing that will pop up on Google if you type AC look is really random. It's actually just like a bike. And the colors of the bike are, as you can see right here, the colors are yellow the base of the bike is yellow and there is a silver blue and red stripe and black for the wheels and everything like that so anyway I think this challenge will be really fun for me to do so anyways if I did a good job after this video then please give this video a big thumbs up and also yeah I hope you guys do this challenge as well and feel free to tag me in your challenges and let's get started. So before I begin this challenge, I'm gonna tell you guys that I do have false lashes on, so I'm not allowed to put anything on top of my lashes, including mascara and another pair of false lashes. So yeah, I just wanna get that out there in case you guys wonder why I didn't put mascara and everything like that. So anyway, let's start off with the base of our makeup. I'm gonna clip back my bangs for this part because we don't want any hair in the way. So for the primer, I'm gonna start with moisturizing my face using the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. So then after I apply that Bobbi Brown face base, I'm gonna use the Maybelline Baby Skin Pore Eraser. And I'm just basically gonna apply this on the areas where my pores are really big. And that's mostly just around my nose area. And I'm also gonna put a little bit on my forehead. So now that we're done with the primer, we're now going to move on to the foundation. So I'm choosing between two foundations. Either I will use the Bobbi Brown Skin Nourishing Glow Foundation in the shade Natural. Or I will use the NYX Total Control Drop Foundation in the shade um, Golden Honey. Okay, then we will test the NYX Drop Foundation. So I think I'm going to be using the Bobbi Brown Foundation for today's video. So this foundation is pretty light, like once I blend it, but we will fix everything with some cream contour later on. Then I'm just gonna take my beauty blender and I'm just gonna blend everything out. So now that we're done with the foundation, I'm gonna be mixing two um, concealer together. This is the Naked Skin by Urban Decay in the shade... Um, medium light neutral and I'm also gonna mix it with the NARS radiant creamy concealer in the shade ginger so I'm gonna be applying this under my eyes in the t-zone the bridge of my nose and also on my chin so now that we're done with that I'm gonna go on to using cream contour so I'm gonna be using the same thing that I use almost in every single video which is the Maybelline um, Fit Me Shine Free Balance Foundation in the shade 355. So now that that is done, I'm gonna go and set my face. So I'm gonna be baking my face with the Urban Decay um, Velvetizer Powder. So then, I'm gonna put a little bit of the BYS Banana Powder over the Urban Decay Velvetizer Powder that we just applied. The reason why I placed the Velvetizer before this one is because I like how it feels on my skin um, when I apply the Velvetizer. It feels really, really good on the skin. So, that's why I applied that first. 
So I'm gonna give this a few minutes to completely set, but while we are waiting, I'm gonna move on to my eyeshadow. So I'm gonna take a clean blender brush and I'm just gonna wipe away the powder that was placed on her eyes earlier. So since majority of the bike is colored yellow, I'm gonna be taking this Jazzy France Flash Color Palette and I'm gonna take this yellow shade right here with a flat synthetic brush. So um, I'm gonna start with this yellow shade all over my eye. So you can take your finger or you can take another brush, but I'm just gonna use my finger and I'm just gonna spread the product on my eye. So then I'm gonna go over that with a yellow eyeshadow. This is from the Sleek Makeup Palette. And they have a really nice yellow right here. So that's what I will use. So I'm gonna use the MAC 217 brush. And this shadow is very pigmented. So a little bit goes a long way. So yeah, I'm gonna go over the paint so that the yellow will be a lot more vibrant. And it's gonna stick a lot better to the eye. Okay, so now that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and um, let me see, what will I do next? I actually don't really have a game plan for this. I'm just going, you know, going with the flow. Alright, so now that is done, I'm gonna go ahead and apply some red into the outer parts of our eyes. So again, I'm gonna take the flash palette and I'm gonna take the red, just a little bit on a synthetic brush. And I'm just gonna apply this to the outer areas. This way, it will create sort of an ombre effect. So I don't really have a perfect red eyeshadow. So I'm gonna be using this FS Single Eyeshadow in the shade Potter, Potter Clay. And this is like a brick orange color. And I'm just gonna set that. And while I'm setting the red cream shade, I'm gonna blend it the edges so I'm gonna take a clean brush and I'm just gonna blend the edges together even more all right so this is how the eye looks so far and now I'm gonna go ahead and apply the blue so I'm gonna take this blue from the flash palette again and so I'm just gonna take a really tiny amount on this brush and I'm gonna apply it on the center of the lid. So again, I'm not gonna make that perfect. And now I'm gonna go over it with a blue eyeshadow this time. So I'm gonna take another flat brush and I will use, hmm, I have the Urban Decay Gwen Stephanie palette and I have the Urban Decay um, Electric palette. So those are the only palettes I have that have blue on it, like a dark and intense blue. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and take this shade called Gonzo from the Urban Decay Electric Flash Palette. And then I'm gonna mix a little bit of the color Chaos, which is a darker blue. And since this is a pigmented product, I'm gonna spray um, Fix Plus on it. And then again, I'm gonna apply this to the area where we apply the blue. Alright, so since the blue and the red are not really blending well together, I'm gonna apply a purple shade because red and blue makes purple. So I'm gonna apply that to the edge where the um, red and the blue meet. So since there is a touch of silver on the bicycle, I'm gonna take the shade from the Urban Decay Electric palette and I'm gonna take um, the shade called Revolt, which is a plain old silver. So I'm gonna apply that to the center of the lid. So now that we're almost done with the eye, we're just going to be removing the bake under the eye. Then I'm gonna take the same pencil brush we used earlier and I'm gonna apply a little bit of the Potter Clay shade. And I'm gonna put that first. So since this brush already has a little bit of purple, it's gonna be easier for us to put shadows. So I feel like the yellow is sort of, um, it's kind of faded already. I'm gonna go over the shadow with some more yellow. 
so now that is done I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows off camera but I will be using the Nadine Lustre eyebrow gel in the shade natural brown so I'm back with eyebrows now but I feel like I want to put some eyeliner because the look just seems like it needs more eyeliner so I'm gonna take this what is this I think this is the H&M eyeliner I think I don't know there's no brand on it or mini so somewhere there so I'm just gonna create a wing so I'm gonna take the Lustrous by Nadine Lustre. This is the mascara in the shade Lazuli. So I'm gonna apply this to my bottom lashes since I don't really have false lashes on them. So this is how this mascara looks like. It's such a pretty periwinkle sort of blue. Okay, so that didn't really do much to my bottom lashes. But anyways, we have mascara on my bottom lashes. So now that we're done with the eyeshadow, I'm gonna move on to my contour. So I'm gonna take this detailed contour palette and I'm gonna take a contour brush and I will use this shade for my contour today. And then for my nose contour, I'm gonna take the shade above it. So for my blush, I'm going to take this blush by Caroline. This is in the shade Starlight Shine. So I'm just going to take a little bit of blush. So for my highlight today, I'm going to be using the Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick in the shade Pink Quartz, which looks like this. And I'm just going to apply that to my cheekbone area. And then I'm going to put on the tip of my nose. And I'm also going to put on my Cupid's bow. Then for the lipstick, I'm going to be using this Maybelline... Um, what's this? Maybelline the Powder Matte Lipstick in the shade Toasted Brown. Thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed this video then please give this video a big thumbs up and also comment down below what did you think of this look if I did a good job then please let me know in the comment section and also comment down below if you have any other video suggestions and other challenges for me to try and if you're not subscribed to the Anin Fam channel yet it is never too late to subscribe the subscribe button is down below and you can also click the tiny little bell button beside the subscribe button to be notified every time I upload a video so yeah that concludes this makeup look I actually really really love how this look turned out I did not expect anything all I knew is that I had to play with reds yellows blues and things like that so. and yeah thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you guys in the next video bye